So welcome to my video on converting units. In this video we're going to go over two examples. Uh, the first one's going to be a little easier than the second one. And as you can see, here we have a units of length problem. We are converting units of length. It says how many feet are in 90 inches. And before we start this example, uh, we need we need to know how many feet are in an inch or you could do the opposite, how many inches are in a foot. It doesn't matter. And I think most of us know that we have 12 inches in one foot. 12 inches is exactly equal to one foot. So now we're ready to start our example. It says, how many feet are in 90 inches? So we're converting 90 inches into feet. So we're starting with 90 inches and we are converting that into feet. And what I like to do is make a conversion tool, which is just a big parentheses with a fraction in the parentheses. And in the denominator of the conversion tool, we always put the same units that we're starting with. Since we're starting with inches, that means that we have to have inches in our denominator. And in the numerator of our conversion tool, we always put the units that we're finishing with, that we are ending with. So since we need to convert inches into feet, that means that we're going to put feet in our numerator. And last but not least, our numerator and our denominator of our conversion tool have to be exactly equal. So we know that 12 inches is exactly equal to one foot, so we need to make the denominator 12 inches and the numerator one foot because the numerator and the denominator have to be exactly equal. Now notice how the inches cancel out and we are left with a units of feet and now we have 90 times 1 in the numerator which is just 90 and in the denominator we have 12 and our units are once again feet. And if you want to put this in decimal form 90 over 12 is equal to 7.5. So how many feet are in 90 inches? We have 7.5 feet in 90 inches. So let's go over a little harder example. All right, so here in this example, we are converting units of time. And it says, how many seconds are in two days? So we're converting two days. That's what we're starting with. We're starting with two days, and we are converting that into seconds. And this is the exact same process as we did in our first example, so I'm going to make my conversion tool, which is just a big parentheses with a fraction, and in the denominator of our conversion tool, we need to put our units that we're starting with. Since we're starting with days, that means we need to put days in our denominator of our conversion tool. And in our numerator, we need to put the units that we're ending with. Since we're converting days into seconds, we need to put seconds in our numerator. but I have no idea how many seconds are in a day. So, since I don't know that, I'm going to put hours in my numerator instead because I do know how many hours are in a day. So since our numerator and denominator have to be exactly equal, we need to make the numerator 24 hours in one day because we have 24 hours is exactly equal to one day. All right, and now notice how our days cancel out, and now we are left with hours as our units. But we can't leave our units in hours because this question is asking us to convert into seconds. It says how many seconds are in two days. All right, so we need to make another conversion tool. And in this conversion tool, we're going to put in our denominator the units that we're starting with. Since we're starting with hours, that means we need to put hours in our denominator. And in our numerator, we need to put what we're ending with. Since we're converting into seconds, we need to put seconds in our numerator. But once again, I have no idea how many seconds are in an hour. So I do know how many minutes are in an hour, so I'm going to put minutes in my numerator. And once again, our numerator and our denominator have to be exactly equal. I know that there's 60 minutes in one hour. So 60 minutes is exactly equal to one hour. Now notice how our hours 
cancel out and we are left with minutes as our units and once again we're not finished because this question is asking us to convert into seconds so we need to make another conversion tool in our conversion tool we need to put in our denominator what we're starting with since we're starting with minutes that means we have to put minutes in our denominator and in our numerator we need to put what we're ending with since uh, we're converting um, in, uh, into seconds uh, that means we need to put seconds in our numerator once again our numerator and denominator have, have to be exactly equal um, how many minutes are in one second or how many seconds are in a minute we know that there are 60 seconds in one minute so now notice how our minutes cancel out and we are left with a units of seconds so now we have almost finished this problem we're in the right units we just need to multiply everything so we have 2 multiplied by 24 multiplied by 60 multiplied by 60 divided by 1 times 1 times 1 and I'm just going to type this in the calculator and that is equal to 172,800 and our units is seconds so how many seconds are in two days we have 172,800 seconds in two days so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope this gave you a better idea of how to convert any type of units and I will see you in my next one.